Okay, so uh, before I start, uh, I would like to give a great round of applause for the people who put this conference together. This has got to be one of the best things I've been to in like years. So, like, thank you very much. This is incredible. Okay, so uh, my name is actually Edward. I'm not Jonathan Rudenberg, but you can find him in the back. Uh, this is what I do all day. I have the best job in the world. I'm a de uh, developer advocate for Shopify, which means I get to walk around and I ask people, what stuff, that, wh what kind of stuff do you like building? And then I say this, and then I come up with some way that we can make something valuable for our merchants. So has anyone, has anyone heard about this company before? A few people know about Shopify. Um, I'd like to mention, if you don't get anything, thank you. Uh, if you don't get anything out of this talk apart from following us here, uh, just, just do this and, and you're set. So check out Shopify API. We'll be releasing stuff about Batman and uh, tickets to upcoming conferences and things like that. Okay, so uh, Shopify, we do online stores. We have Angry Birds and people like Pixar. And has anyone, does anyone follow Penny Arcade? They're awesome. We do their store. So Shopify does pretty well. Um, these 10,000 stores from last year altogether uh, did a sales of about $100 million across, uh, across all storefronts. Um, the way we think we do that is by focusing on the 80% of stuff that everyone uses. But it still leaves some cases where some merchants want a little bit more. So here's an example. Uh, there's this thing called Wendy's. It's an ice cream cake store, uh, a chain rather, in Australia. And they're like, okay, we really want uh, online presence. We want to be able to buy stuff online, but our stores don't have computers in them, really. So, so how can we fix this? So some local developers realized, hey, we can use something like uh, Twilio or Tropo and have people buy stuff online. When the order goes through, the Twilio service will call the shop and say, hey, there's been uh, an order. Send it to this place. It's this kind of cake. Like these are the cool things that we can't do as Shopify, but I'm looking for third-party developers, people who are all working on really cool stuff to jump in and, and solve. There's a lot of people asking for cool stuff. Uh, here's another example, Tinai. This is a service out of Toronto. Has anyone heard of Tinai? This is the coolest thing in the world. Uh, you give it an image and it searches all its images and it tells you which ones kind of match. Like it's a great fuzzy matching tool. So uh, we had uh, a hack at Shopify recently, and uh, David Underwood here was like, oh, I'll make this app where uh, you can take a photograph of your living room, and you upload it to this service, and it figures out what are the major colors in your living room, and it searches stores for products that have that color. So it's like, here's a picture of my living room. Give me stuff that matches. Like, that's pretty cool. Merchants love this stuff. Here's another example, Directed Edge. Uh, they're a great company that does uh, like graph services. So something you can do with graphs is you can build recommendation engines. That's not something I want to be doing, but my merchants love this stuff. And they incidentally have a super popular app on the App Store, uh, which I'll talk about in a second, but like, look at all these good things. This is great. This should be you. Uh, as a final example, there's a company out of London, UK called Market Brain. They do nothing but uh, develop for Shopify merchants. Like that's their, their whole business. They make a lot of money this way. It's really cool. And they make a lot of people really happy. So um, as a developer advocate, I've been trying to do everything in my power to make this as easy as possible for you guys. Uh, so I've been putting together this app store. You can see all sorts of cool stuff in here. Um, people are really happy with this. Of the merchants that we now have, we've got about 15,000. And most of them have at least like two to five applications installed. Uh, we do all sorts of blog posts about the apps. What I hate are those posts that just like shill uh, about a service. Uh, those are no good. I would rather have awesome case studies about how people are using things like this thing called Curebit is really cool. Has, have you ever like purchased something online and then the merchant follows up and is like, hey, uh, have like a 40% off coupon. Uh, for anything that you like in the store and share it with your friends. Like, that's kind of cool. It's legitimately good service. So we have this wiki. Uh, it's a guide for 
uh, anyone who's interested in doing this kind of development work. Uh, there are adapters for uh, people who do Ruby, PHP, uh, but more importantly, uh, we've recently done a JSON API. So I'm really looking forward for people who are playing with JavaScript, like this crowd, uh, to start making cool stuff. So some cool things about the API include these webhooks. Uh, has anyone ever played with an API where like, you have to pull it all the time? I think that really sucks for everyone involved. So we were like, oh, what if we do this thing where anytime someone buys something or like, a new product is created or like, something happens, we'll give you a shout and we'll say, this thing just happened. So uh, if you're like this ice cream cakes people, uh, that's exactly what you want to be using. Um, there's a company called Olark. There are tons of companies like this. Um, I'm sure you guys are here today. These guys inject this little thing in the bottom of the screen that says get help. This is awesome. You get all sorts of good things out of this. Like the online experience turns from like blank nothing to suddenly there's actually someone on the other end who's talking to you. So this magic happens by injecting a little bit of JavaScript into the front end. Uh, typically that's a pain in the butt because you've got to like mess with someone's themes and you have to apply regexes on things that you know will fail. So instead we're like, how about we make this thing that lets you inject JavaScript, uh, you make this one call and uh, we add it asynchronously into the page and that's it. So you do this one call and now suddenly like the service works and that's it. So uh, I should also mention what these apps are. It's really just a token of permission where we're like, let's do the simplest thing possible. Um, the app is really a permission between you and the shop that says this API key can use uh, the shop's API, and that's it. So they hit install, and we redirect to whatever URL of your choice. So if you want to do something on the desktop, you just specify like some protocol handler, and it pops open like iTunes or whatever your app is. If you want to do it on the web, that's cool. Um, Ask me all about that. Uh, there is a really active developer forum. And within this, I have this huge, huge thread of merchants who are like, please build me these things. I'm looking for all this sort of stuff. Uh, there are a lot of people asking for things. So what I'm trying to put into your heads is, uh, I know you guys are working on all sorts of different things, uh, whether it be this like graph API or something that recognizes images. And what I'm saying is that there's all sorts of opportunities for you guys to look into the e-commerce space and build stuff for people who actually want those things, who will pay uh, a considerable chunk of money for them on a regular basis. Like we've got this billing API that's built into the system where you can just say, hey, uh, charge the merchant 20 bucks a month and add it to their bill and we'll take care of all the prorating and the collection and all that stuff. So whenever they pay their invoice, uh, we'll just pass you off the money that you charge them. Okay, so enough of me talking about Shopify stuff specifically. I wanted to take this moment to also promote some like, amazing JavaScript libraries that I've been playing around with. Uh, I've got a friend who just made this Tron game using WebGL and this library. Has anyone ever heard about Now.js? If so, if not, you should really check this out. I don't know how you can work this into an app, but maybe you could do something where... Um... Jonathan, what was your idea? You had a great one. Uh, you could take, like, the chat, and then uh, the people the product. Right? Yeah. Uh, right. So with that much code, you can do something like that. Uh, popcorn, as I'm sure you guys have seen, like, this is amazing. This is really, really cool stuff. Um, if you did something like make me a little embeddable script uh, and inside of the video of maybe like a carousel of like products or something, just let me click on it and then it takes me to where I can buy it. Or like let me buy stuff from within the video. That sort of thing will make you a killing. Uh, Batman, you may have heard of this. Uh, we're doing everything we can to make development easy for you guys. So follow Shopify API on Twitter uh, for new developments. We'll hopefully re-release. Nick, are you still here? Hey, go bother that man. Hopefully the website will be up later today. OK, cool. So shopify.com slash developers. We'll take you there. Follow this. This is my name. 
I'm here on Twitter and uh, under Edward on GitHub. If you have any ideas about stuff you like, you like making or ideas about stuff for e-commerce, uh, talk to anyone who works at Shopify. Who works at Shopify? Some people do. We've all got all sorts of free shirts and free swag. We love talking to you guys. That's it. Uh, I'm going to try and get us back onto our schedule. 2.40, exactly. Yeah. Thank you.